Hey y'all, what is up? It is Marissa Nicole and welcome back to my channel. If you're not following me on Instagram, one, you should. Two, I posted a whole bunch of polls at the beginning of the year to see what you guys wanted to see from me. One of the main things was, of course, well, one, like organizing videos, which we're already doing a series on that. You guys can catch that every week of like a cleaning and organizing different areas and rooms in my house. It's pretty bomb. Two, y'all wanted to see cooking videos, which is what we're doing tonight. Welcome to Late Night Cooking with Marissa and Griff. <laughs> <laughs> so this started as like a mini series on my Instagram, not even a series, where we would just cook really, really late because Griffin would work really late and then he'd come over and it'd be really late and we'd cook dinner. And it would be like really cool stuff. We were really trying to find like new recipes to do and everything. So I would just like Instagram story it like, hey, Griffin and I are making beef and broccoli tonight. Here's what we're doing, whatever. And it was just like really chill and low key. But now for whatever reason, y'all love it. And y'all requested, like heavily requested just like cooking stuff with Griffin and I. So we're gonna be doing essentially late night cooking with Marissa and Griff on the channel instead of Instagram now. We're bringing it back hopefully at least once a month for you guys, if not more, depending on like, I don't know what we're doing. And the goal is to either try like new recipes, try recipes that y'all have submitted to us that you guys want us to try. Just making like cool stuff. It could be like cooking challenges, like making stuff in the crock pots and the air fryers, like whatever. There's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just gonna be late night cooking with Marissa and Griff. Do you wanna tell the people what we're cooking tonight? Pizza. Pizza, pizza. I had pizza for lunch. And we had pizza Happy for dinner birthday, yesterday. Ricky. Happy birthday, Ricky. <gasps> Ricky, I'm sorry I didn't get to see you today. I wasn't at the store. Happy birthday. For our first episode of Late Night Cooking, we wanted to make a homemade pizza. So we have the dough here. We got all this from Trader Joe's yesterday, or two days ago when we went. So we have the Trader Giotto's. Is that supposed to be like a play on something Italian? Probably. Okay, well we have Trader Giotto's ready to bake garlic and herb pizza dough. There was regular pizza dough. I'm thinking that this is gonna be really tasty, so we're gonna do the garlic and herb. These are the pepperonis that we got from Trader Joe's to put on it. We also have the Trader Joe's pizza sauce to put on it. We did get two bags of this, because I felt like one bag wouldn't be enough. Maybe it is, but your girl likes cheese. But we're just starting with like a really basic pizza, because we've never made pizza before. I mean, if you guys have a special recipe that you guys would like to follow, please do, but I guess we're just gonna follow the back of this, and we're just gonna layer it up, put it in the oven, and hope for the best. Step one, preheat the oven. So originally you're supposed to heat it to 450, but yeah, we're gonna do it a little bit higher. Our oven works a little slower, so now comes the fun part. Raise your hand if you don't know what you're doing. That don't look like a circle. We have our circular pizza dough, or I mean. Circleish. Yeah, the, the best circle that we can have. Also, you're gonna see a lot of shadows because again, this is late night cookie with Marissa and Griff. I mean, it's not that late, it's like eight o'clock, but oh, the oven is done, perfect timing. We just sprayed the pan with some nonstick olive oil because it did say to like lightly oil the pan that we're gonna throw this onto. Final shaping happens in the pan. <laughs> That's pretty good, pretty good. What? You want some pizza? This is not kitty pizza, I'm hey, sorry. Kitty's really meowing for this pizza. You can't have it. You can't. I'm sorry, you're not allowed. You wanna lick my finger? Do some sauce. <laughs> Kitty's our taste tester. Is it kitty approved? Nope, Griffin, we gotta start over. Is this not, but just a giant Lunchable? <laughs> Save it for the pizza, woman. I'm just making sure it tastes good. Yeah. Ooh. Here is our before. <laughs> this shit's <Ooh>. heavy. <laughs> this is heavier than any piece we put on this thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'm kidding. Oh god. And now we wait. <laughs> Why would you do that? I put it on your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's like literally an imprint on your hair. I got dandruff. <laughs> I got eggs. <laughs> you got eggs, man. <laughs> Brown dimes. Pizza time! Does it look done? Nah. No. A few moments later. Okay, how about now? That'll do, I guess. Well, what do you mean that'll do? It needs to be good. Ooh, that shit's not done. It's not? 12 seconds later. Okay, maybe third time is the charm. Very greasy. Oh, there's oh, a bubble. bubble! Look at that bubble. <laughs> she a big grease. So in all, it said like maybe six to eight minutes, but we ended up cooking it like 10. And now we're trying to like soak up a lot of the grease. Oh. Yum. Pepperoni, you're good. Oh, you know what tastes like pizza? Just any pizza? It, it's not bad, it's not good. I mean, I mean, it's not It's not bad, period. Like, it's pretty good. I think it tastes like a heated up Lunchable. Not a bad way, I love Lunchables. Now, to watch Punisher. It's me. 